wait, I didn't see you there. <laughs> Hi guys. Um, so what I want to do today is I want to sew my um, pre-wedding. I've actually already started my pre-wedding dress um, for like the pre-wedding shoots, okay? And I have a sketch for what I want to do. It's an off-shoulder princess that was here. Guys, I have, I just couldn't be bothered to do a corset for the pre-wedding shoot. Like it's just a lot of work for like a couple of hours that we're going to, you know, be doing those pictures for a couple of hours that we're going to be taking those pictures um so this is the sketch i have in mind so basically what it is is this part is the princess that was tear. this is this um there's this sleeve now that i really like it has a puff and a flare all in one so that's what it is so it's like a puff puffy flare sleeve so puff up here flare down here same thing with the bottom part of the dress puff here and flare here okay so i'm done cutting the pencil the off shoulder princess that was still part and this is what it looks like this is the front piece as you can see this is what the front piece piece looks like already and this is the back piece okay so um i've already done that i have a tutorial on how to make this by the way check it out the link will be in the description box down below but um so what i want to cut now is the bottom part of the skirt i'm going to cut the sleeve at the end so i'm going to cut the bottom part of the skirt so this part here like a straight pencil skirt here it's going to be just above my knee here and i'm also going to cut the um, puffy part later but i'm going to make sure i do this first turn it with the lining and then come back to cut this other part okay of the dress so what I'm just doing now is I'm just cutting the um, skirt part of the dress. Like I mentioned, I've already done the um, Princess Dad Bustier bodice. So what I'm doing now is I'm just cutting the, or I'm just drafting rather. I'm just drafting the skirt part of the dress. Um, the basic pencil skirt pattern. I have a detailed tutorial on that. I'll leave the link to that video in the description box down below. This is like a vlog. This is actually a vlog. It's not a tutorial. So if you want any want like an in-depth tutorial on any aspect of um you know the pieces i'm making in this um vlog uh if i don't have a tutorial already i'm going to um just let me know in the comment section that i'm going to make a tutorial on it but i do have a tutorial on this pencil skirt i'm um, drafting cutting and sewing pattern so um i'll leave the link in the description box down below so i just cut the front piece placed on top of the fabric so i can cut the back piece as well and I once I once I was done with that, I joined it with the um, Princess Da Bustier bodice. And now what I'm doing is I'm just shaping the sides. So I'm just going to, to just divide my bust measurements, shape measurements, and hip measurements by four, placing it on the fabric and marking that point. This will make it um, you know very fitted on my body when I'm done. So I'm just going to I'm just going to go ahead and just shaping it. I don't know why I'm stammering, guys, but yeah. I'm just going to go ahead and just mark my actual measurement so by the time I shape it, it's very very fitted on my body. So the idea behind this, um, the, the pre-wedding shoot that I and my, my um, fiancé did was we tried to um, do like a native look and then a cl classic or um, English look. If that makes sense so for the native look i wore this ankara dress and he wore a senator then for the english look um i wore the velvet dress and then he wore um you know a tuxedo and all of that so um once i finished um you know marking the shape i just went ahead to just um you know shaping it or just sew it together with the back piece and that's what i'm basically doing now guys my room was a mess i had to stop I'm like god i can't think my room was a mess i had to just stop and then just clear the whole place it was just so 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 messy let me know in the comment section if you're like me that cannot function in it in a disorganized place like let me know in the comment section but yeah i had to just you know just arrange my room so that you know it's easier for me to just stay focused and do what i was doing so once i finished that i went back to my sewing and then I completed that one and then this is the next day i couldn't finish the ankara dress on that day so i had to start 
I finished the Ankara dress on that day, but I couldn't start the velvet dress on that same day. So I had to start the velvet dress the following day. By the way, um, I have like a detailed tutorial on how I made the rest of that Ankara dress. I'll leave the link to the video in, it, in the description box down below. Okay, so do check it out if you want to see like a detailed story on how I made the rest of that Ankara dress. So for the velvet dress, I'm making the bottom part of the dress a mermaid, a mermaid skirt. So the bottom part or the skirt part of the dress is a mermaid skirt, while the top part is like has an illusion neckline. Okay, so what I just drafted now was is the regular mermaid skirt pattern. Again, if you want a detailed tutorial, I have a tutorial on how I make, how I drafted and cut and sew this, um, you know, mermaid skirt pattern. Funny enough, that tutorial actually also has an illusion neckline at the top part of the dress, so it's very similar with, um, you know, with this one. Now for the sleeve, I actually got this, um, you know, piece from a previous dress that I had. I made it a while back. But then I decided to just convert this into the sleeve of this dress because I was really pressed for time and I honestly did not want to have to make a very big, um, you know, exaggerated sleeve from scratch. So I had to just do that. So hi guys, um, today is this 1st of September 2022. It's officially two weeks to my wedding. And guys, I'm not done with most of the outfits for the wedding. I'm just not done. And it's low-key driving me crazy because there's so much to be done and there's so little time. I am um, currently making my pre-wedding dress, one of my pre-wedding dresses. I already made the Ankara dress. You've probably already seen the cutting and sewing part of it. Well, this is the velvet dress, navy blue velvet dress that I'm making. It's just a very simple dress and it's going to have a very huge sleeve. I'm using this um, flare fabric for it. Oh dear, this is the back. Turn this to the front. And um, yeah, it's supposed to be like, a, it looks like a skirt. <laughs> But it's the sleeve, it's just going to be like this. Like, I just want huge sleeves because the rest of the body, the rest of the dress is fitted. So I want like huge sleeves just so that it looks like, you know, something's going on with the dress. It's just for pre-wedding photos. So I'm not trying to do too much. I want the pictures to come out really good and lovely. But at the same time, I'm trying to preserve my energy for the actual wedding dresses. Now my wedding dress, I'm done with my um, traditional marriage dress as well but what I haven't finished is my reception dress I haven't I haven't sold my reception dress I haven't I haven't sold my bridal robe I have two bridal robes one for the white wedding and one for the trad I haven't sewn those two and I also haven't sold my veil my wedding veil so those are the things that are left and then once I'm done with this wedding dress and I'm done with the reception dress the robes are not going to take me a lot of time to sew neither would the um veil take a lot of time it's just the embellishing of the veil that's going to take some time so i still have to sew my ashubi dresses and my bridesmaids dresses i know who does that right anyway i do i'm just basically hoping that i finish this before next week that's like the plan fingers crossed but yeah let's just get sewing guys i'm just i just hope i finish this at this point, I think I'm more invested in this cookie bar than the actual dress. <laughs> so guys, as you can see, there's my, my industrial machine is there and my manor machine is there. The reason is because the gen at home cannot carry my industrial machine. So I just couldn't wait for light to come at this time. I had to just get my manor machine and just start sewing because guys, I was so, so, so pressed for time. This is the applique I'm using. I got it for five, I think five, six, four half for a yard but i got half a yard of that so five six is for one yard but i but then i got half a yard so that's what i'm going to be using for the dress i'm just going to go ahead and just cut i'm just going to go ahead and just place it on the on that illusion bodice area 
I'm just trimming it and just cutting it. I want the since the applique applique is shaped like leaves, I want the leaves to face downwards. Obviously, you can make it face up or down or anyhow, but I wanted them to face downwards on both sides. So that's what I was trying to do. And this is what it looks like. But guys, when I was done with this, I still felt like it needed something more. I felt like it needed something extra. It just, it just wasn't okay for me. And then it occurred to me that I actually got another applique. But as you can see, this is the applique I got. It's gold. It has a mirrors inside. I wanted to use it, but using gold, the the applique with the gold borders with silver applique already on the dress, it kind of looks a bit weird. So what I decided to do was I decided to cut out the mirrors so that you know they appear silver. So when I place it next to the silver applique on the dress, it looks good. So that's what I've done so far. I did it on one side. As you can see and i'm going to go ahead and just do it on the other side so i simply just went ahead to just cut out the gold border so that it's just the mirror that i'm using and then behind the mirror i just used um glue i used this um uhu glue i don't know whether it's pronounced uhu or uhu <laughs> but it's uhu uh, i use that behind on the reverse side so that um, i can stick it on the dress And yeah i love how it turned out now moving on to the other dress like i said i have a tutorial on how i made this dress the sleeves the bottom part so definitely check it out so what i did was i just carved out this piece of lace from my reception um from the lace i'm using to make my reception dress actually uh it's a gold lace i just carved um a piece i carved like i carved out a heart shape and then I just placed it on the bodice area because of the sweetheart neck design on the bodies. I felt that that would be a good look. And then the bottom part of the heart shape would um, create this illusion of a basque waistline. So that's why I created, I carved out that half heart shape. And then I just literally just stuck it on the dress. But then again, it seemed like it was a bit too plain. So I decided to take this um, flat beads. And then I just used the glue to stick to apply on the bead. And then I just placed it randomly all over. And I feel like it really, really elevated the look. It really made it look very, very, very... Added, added a lot of dimension to the dress. So, yeah. I love that I did that. <clears throat> but then again, I still felt like I needed, it needed something more. So, I took the lace and then I carved out, um, you know, the straight line designs on the lace. And then I just made it look like um, they were all emanating from that, um, you know, the points at the bottom of the heart. So, I just made the lines all come from that same point all the way up. And then I also, you know, placed one by the side to create like a border for the heart shape. I hope that makes sense, guys. But yeah, those are the lines I carved out. And then I just placed them, um, you know, from the from that point at the bottom. So to make them face up. And then at the end, at the edge, as you can see now, I'm just placing it to create like a border for the shape. And yeah, I was honestly really, really satisfied with the look. Yeah. It really really looks nice i really loved how the applique just made everything look very rich very nice and i loved how it turned out and here yeah, this are the these are pictures from the pre-wedding shoots um for you guys to fit your eyes on hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe like share bye guys